Hello guys, I hope you are doing well and preparing good for your exams. So in now today is December 9th, I want to share few last tips and advice for your ISCA preparation. I know there's still there are a lot of doubts and uh, kind of fear regarding this subject. When the exam approaches, it still looks like a nightmare. I do understand that. I have gone through that situation, right? So the few words which I want to tell regarding ISCA preparation is that before I tell them I am so sorry I was unable to keep much videos uh, for ISCA because of my health conditions and uh, uh, still I thought to tell these few lines so that it may help you it will it's not it may it will help you first tip please once again study completely chapter number six at least revise the practice manual practice manual covers all the questions of chapter number six okay and then Complete the MCQs. If you are following my MCQ booklet, it has all the MCQs of ICI and also my own created questions. So it is more and also it has case study based MCQs as well. So covering MCQs itself will take almost if you know the subject correctly, it takes around one day. If you know subject even more well, it takes almost half a day to complete all the MCQs because MCQ revision will complete the revision of entire subject for you. So first one, focus on chapter number 6 and then cover all MCQs including case study based MCQs. And then chapter 3 and chapter 5 have almost similar kind of weightage in the exam. If you see my weightage uh, video, they have almost similar weightage. Now those are the lengthiest chapters in the entire ISCA paper. For that now it's not advisable to sit and study the entire topics because many topics will be overlapping. The best thing what you can do is to open the uh, last day revision notebook which you have of mine or you can open your study material of this car. Go through the side headings when you're reading at least write one time. At least write take a book take your rough book and scribble those side headings or you will remember it. Okay and if you want repeat those side headings again and again. So three things what I advise you is that first complete the chapter number six once again cover all MCQs of the ICI and also study the last three attempts RTP. Last three attempts RTP will include almost uh, six exams right three sorry three years RTP. If that is too lengthy at least three attempts RTP and then cover the side headings of chapter three and chapter five. If still you have time, you can study the other things. You you are having my last day revision. Each chapter is covered in max of twenty pages you can reverse that thing but one thing my friends whenever you read this chapter 3 and chapter 5 or any chapter for that matter try to revise it revise the side headings multiple number of times because once you start get the starting level in the answer once you remember the starting point the answer will flow to you and one more thing there are some comments saying that uh, ma'am is it not necessary to read the entire case study we can directly answer the question one thing you need to understand our exam is case study based examination for 30 marks it is not english comprehensive so english comprehension we try to derive the answer from the para but here reading the para will help you to understand what is the topic being asked for you so when you know when you recollect that is the chapter that is the topic you can easily answer the questions because the questions will have similar options which looks very same a, B, C, D looks same. You need to decide which is the right one. That's why reading the entire para once correctly will help you recollect which chapter, which topic. So kindly read the entire paragraph. There will be two paragraphs, right? So you can read that thing and then answer it. But first thing, my dear friends, complete these tips. And coming to the writing part, I will share one more video regarding the writing part. Please do watch that also. But preparation cover the chapter number 6, cover the 3 atoms RTP, cover the all MCQs including case study based MCQs and last but not the least revise side headings of every chapter focusing on chapter 3 and chapter 5 keep on repeating them. Ok, I hope it's, it will definitely help you my friends. So all the best for your ISCA paper and do perform well and uh, just be confident. You can do it and you will remember it. Good luck.